Hello guys and welcome to my new video and today we're doing a serious discussion guys for a very long time if you watch my stream and I've been ranting about this talking about this and especially now what Shadowlands is going to be released relatively soon a couple of months faction imbalance horde versus alliance alliance versus horde which is better which is yeah leave your comments below which is better horde versus alliance and if you like this content please do subscribe it helps out the channel and things like that so let's get into this discussion of which is better in high-end pv content and why is everyone leaving alliance so we'll look at some of the statistics that are available again we don't have foolproof 100 percent official statistics about how many players are playing horde how many players are playing alliance if you're very new to world of warcraft you have to realize that being one faction does not allow you to play with the opposite faction players. So, technically speaking, World of Warcraft has been, for a very long time, dividing its player base into two. So, let's look at high-end PV content. And this is what the video is mainly going to be focusing on. I know that the actual populations between the two, at least with some of the data that's around there, it doesn't seem to be that way off. But in high-end PV content, in Mythic Plus, in Mythic Rating, especially when a new expansion is about to be released, the imbalance becomes very, very clear. So right now we're looking at Nihilota, uh, World First Race, and the red here represents Horde and the blue represents Alliance. So you can see that in the World Top 100, there's very, very few Alliance guilds actually making making the list here if you actually look at the factions for alliance i think only around 13 alliance guilds made it you can see that straight away at very high end pv rating alliance guilds are there's very few of them or at least compared to horde there is a big imbalance here this straight away creates a vacuum a snowball effect or whatever you want to call it where all of a sudden if a new player is coming into, let's say, Shadowlands, they're coming back and they're asking their favorite streamer, they're looking into forums, what is the best faction? A lot of the times the answer is going to be, hey, there is more players doing PvE content, high-end PvE content on Horde, so therefore the better faction is Horde. So the new player goes into Horde. The next person comes in and asks the same question and they get the same answer. Snowball effect increases, increases, increases until alliance dies that's that could happen technically if you really think about it uh, there's been a lot of reddit posts about it and things like that so if we actually go and talk about the reason why so much so much discussion have been focused about faction imbalance is my server raven quest raven quest is the prime example of why people are talking about this constantly and i talk about this constantly because i am in this <laughs> In this user case, if you really think about it, I am going Horde. Our guild is on Raven Quest. We're a Vergio and we're going Horde for Shadowlands. And most of the guilds that you see here on Raven Quest, Raven Quest is one of the top end alliance guilds in Europe. There's a couple of other ones, but Raven Quest is definitely up there. There's a lot of good guilds here. There's a lot of PvE competition happening in Raven Quest if you're Alliance. Again, not all of these guilds, but a lot but a lot of them are going horde. And again, you can't blame them for making their lives easier in terms of recruitment. All of a sudden the snowball effect is picking up. There's more people on Horde. There's more high-end PvE players on Horde. It's easy to recruit. All of a sudden, if you have a bad tank who is not performing well, you can go in Horde and there's going to be a larger pool of players to choose from. There's going to be a larger pool of healers to choose from. Maybe your healer is underperforming. Maybe your healer has to quit. Maybe your healer is, go is going on holidays. All of a sudden, it's easier to replace them. If you're in Alliance, and this is what our guild sometimes struggles with, we can't replace players for whatever reason it's hard to find good pve players on alliance it can be and all of a sudden the, the pool of choices is a lot smaller and you sometimes have to settle and this is what the rationale of a lot of these guilds this is what they're thinking right now they want to have a better roster and the better roster is going to be on horde it's very much like a football team or a sports team or whatever 
if you think about it in terms of sports. World of Warcraft is a sport, guys, remember. And Raven Quest has been a prime example in these discussions, and honestly, I really want to hear your opinion about this. Now, the main thing that people ask me is, why are people leaving Alliance? Now, if you're on Oceanic servers, it's a completely different story where there's more Alliance versus Horde, and yeah, it's kind of weird, but why are people leaving Alliance and going to Horde? Historically speaking, it's always been about racials or certain, how do I put it, certain mechanics like Warfronts and things like that. But generally speaking, it's been very little things. The, the earliest example that I remember are things like Blood Elf Racials. Arcane Torrent is very, very strong for certain bosses. It has been nerfed a couple of times now. It removes one beneficial effect from all enemies. Back in the day, it used to silence all enemies within 8 yards. Generally speaking, this used to be a very strong racial, and that's Blood Elves, and a lot of people did tend to swap for that. Uh, if you really think about the biggest example in my eyes, or at least the one that I've really seen, was Rocket Jump for Goblins. So, Kill Jaden, Mythical Jaden, back before the nerves and all the things, they used to have this phase where you needed to have kind of like a gap closer. And priests in particular did not have this. So if you had priests in your Kil'jaeden mythic progression guild, you probably had to swap over to Horde and those priests would have to go goblin and they would have rocket jump. I know an incredible amount of guilds that swap from alliance to Horde in order to get rocket jump. And this goes on and on for a really long time. But you also have to remember that alliance does have advantages. Like for example, alliance have the best mythic plus racial in terms of night elves, in terms of shadow melt. And even because of this, even because night elves have the best racial, again, with Awakened, it's not that big of a deal anymore, but it used to be way bigger than The balance for mythic plus is still the same. Look at the rated R, your comp highest completed dungeons. Look at the horde right here. Again, there's a couple of Alliance ones. Shout out to Bucky. He's from our guild doing, doing really high keys uh, on Raven Quest. So look at the Horde. Look at the amount of Horde uh, versus Alliance. There is still a huge imbalance in terms of Horde players pushing the highest keys in the world. It used to be so ridiculous that I remember back in BFA, there used to be some high-end pushers swapping from Horde to Alliance to get the Night Elf uh, Shadow Meld, swapping for the week and swapping back when they have to raid, then swapping back to Alliance, doing keys, swapping back to Horde and doing the raids with their Horde guilds. There used to be a lot of gimmicky things like that. But at the end of the day, everyone still goes back to Horde. Everyone still pushes and does raids with the Horde. Horde has become, for whatever reason, uh, if you look at the snowball effect, Horde has become the one and only faction for PvE rating. Now, I'm over-exaggerating a bit in terms of the only one. There's still a lot of PvE players in Alliance. There's still a lot of high-end PvE pushers in Alliance. It's just harder to find them. That's the main reason. How many people, and I want to hear your opinion on this. I really, 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 really want to hear your opinion on this. If you're an Alliance player, how many times, or if you're looking for high-end Mythic Plus groups... Is it hard for you to find a group, especially for higher keys? Because I remember when I was pugging keys for like 24s and I could barely find any 24 keys on Alliance side and I swap over to Horde and everyone's doing 24s, 25s, 26s in the looking for group tool. So you could definitely say that in terms of the players in looking for group tools in terms of high-end mythic plus and things like that there's definitely an advantage to horde now there's been a lot of discussion about this there's been a lot of reddit posts posts made six months ago there's been a new post made like a couple of days ago they got a lot of traction that directly talked about raven quest again raven quest is a prime example but what can be done about this honestly if you really really think about this there's been a lot of talk about faction or cross-faction gameplay and this post six months ago talks about it to some extent, cross-faction grouping. It's been talked for a long time about Alliance and Horde grouping together and playing together in dungeons or in raids. Now, the people who really enjoy the lore aspect of that might not like this, but you have to remember, you can actually go to Dalaran, you can go to the sewers, you can talk to an NPC, and all of a sudden you're going to enable mercenary mode where you as an Alliance character can play for Horde. Or as a Horde character can play for Alliance. 
And in terms of lore aspects, I don't know what that falls into because I don't really pay attention to lore that much. But generally speaking, there has been implementations done in the game which kind of allow you to swap sides freely and play for that side. And I feel the same thing should be implemented for PvE. Now, this is a controversial topic. Again, would love to hear your opinion on this. Should cross-faction grouping be allowed? Should the game not divide its player base into two? Could this work out? Are you up for this? Would you want this? Would you want to play with your Horde friends as alliance? Where you put in a situation sometimes where a group of friends get together and they're like, hey, let's play World of Warcraft. Let's all go Horde. And you're like, hey guys, I don't really like Horde that much. I want to go Alliance. But you're being pushed into going Horde because your friends want to. And there has been, you know, a couple of other people who agree with this. Like if you look at the Mr. GM's Twitter page for the first time in WoW history, Shadowlands would be exactly the same for Horde and Alliance in every aspect. How cool it would be that only in Shadowlands and Shadowlands instances content we content we could group and play together but outside of that it's business as usual so basically referring to the same point that maybe cross-faction grouping should exist in Shadowlands because the experience is very similar for both Horde and Alliance so there has been a lot of talk about cross-faction play please let me know how you feel about this but I have to mention before I end this video there is a huge huge disclaimer because Blizzard is I don't know if they want to do this with a single purpose of creating or pushing players to play Alliance more because they are making Castle Natch here. It's based on, you know, your Twilight movie type of deal. And there's a lot of bleeds. And who removes bleed effects? Your good old dwarves. Your good old stone form removes a bleed effect. The same thing with Dark Iron Dwarves. And all of a sudden, a lot of the top end guilds are looking at these bosses and they're like, hey guys, what if we swap majority of our raid into dwarves and we remove the bleed effect completely? And all of a sudden, I don't know, like I mentioned, I'm not sure if Blizzard is doing this on purpose because they know that faction imbalance exists and they're pushing hardcore into making the first raid instance to be way more friendly towards dwarves. I'm sure it might actually be something that they talked about this because bleed effects are pretty strong and a lot of the top end guilds, like I mentioned, are thinking about the possibility of swapping over to alliance. But the main issue still persists. If those top end guilds swap to alliance, will they stick to alliance? Will they stay in alliance? Because this happened before where limit swap from Horde to alliance because Warfronts were available for alliance before the raid was released. They did the Warfront, they got the gear and they swapped from alliance back to Horde the next reset or even before that. So there has been things like that done before. It's all about whether the guilds that might swap from Horde to alliance will they stay alliance or will they go back again and the faction imbalance continues and again like i mentioned if there's nothing if there's nothing done about this imbalance or incentives or like real strong incentives created there is a chance that alliance could die in the next couple expansions if they don't introduce cross-faction play and maybe cross-faction play who knows maybe blizzard makes a lot of money from you know server transfers and things like that and they don't want to do that there's a lot of tinfoil theories out there no one really knows why they're not doing this maybe it's the lore maybe people hate it again that's why i'm doing this video because i want to hear your discussions i want to hear your opinions my honest opinion about all of this i think cross-faction play should be introduced or should have been the aspect of shadowlands i think when they revealed shadowlands when they talked about it the first thing they should have done was hey guys cross-faction play is here and I would have been really happy about this. This would have been the main aspect for Shadowlands for me. And honestly, I would have been able to play with my Horde friends. So, how do you feel about this cross-faction play? How do you feel about faction imbalance? Are you Horde or Alliance, guys? Which one are you going to play? Or maybe you just don't care about any of this. Let me know, guys. And if you like the content, please do subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.